So, um, I wanted to make a quick video because I had a uh, I had a message from somebody who um, he's been like kind of at, he he started a business about six months ago and uh, he's he's struggling you know and it's not in terms of sales he's just struggling because it's like right now it's like eighteen hour days he's like yeah he's just he's really working himself into the ground and. He was just like, man, this sucks. He goes, this is always going to be like it. And um, yeah, it is. Uh, pretty much anybody that tells you, oh, I only work an hour a day, blah, 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 is probably trying to sell you a course. And if you're hearing comments like that, you should run the other way. So here's one of the crazy things about online businesses or, and I mean, I don't, I mean, my agency technically is an online business, but I mean, we have staff, we have a team, you know, and so forth. So I, I don't know if you class it as that, but um, you've got to keep growing. And when you grow, you inevitably encounter problems. And when you encounter those problems, you have to solve them. And in most of the times, there aren't really ready available solutions. So you've got to figure them out. So, you know, and I, I guess this is going out to kind of all the owners out there. Like, you know, if you guys have been... Um, uh, if you guys, if you guys have been doing businesses for any amount of time, you're gonna know that it, it is. It's 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 hard work, and it's frustrating because the there's a, there's a you know there's kind of the trend is kind of is almost split into two. You've got you've still got that group that are like going, oh, you just need to work an hour a day and you can make a million bucks and live on the beach. And and with online businesses, no, you cannot do that. Just so I'm being clear here, there are ways potentially you could do that, but it is not going to happen overnight. And it's certainly not going to happen in the first year. And I'm sorry if anybody's telling you that they are trying to sell you a course, go the other way. Then you've got the other group that goes, oh, it's it's all about the hustle. And it's like, oh, you've got to be busy all the time. Well, that's wrong as well, because what that happens is it kind of encourages you to be a busy fool. Uh, when so many times, a lot of the things that you do that make you busy, you can, as you're starting to get more income, you can outsource. And so, you know, what should happen when you first start a business is, you know, you're doing everything yourself. And then, you know, as, as the sales start to grow, you're able to perhaps bring in somebody to do customer support. And then they're growing a bit more. And so, um, you know, then you can start doing, you know, you can start to afford more automation and you can start to afford, you know, perhaps people that can, you know, actually deal with sales. Uh, you know, I generally, I say not to like outsource your sales stuff until you're actually a, a fairly decent size uh, business because the selling part of the company is still going to be very integra integrally you but then you know you've got the kind of the finance inside of the company as well that you kind of you know so you're kind of moving up and so what happens is that rather than you doing the one-on-one -on -one interaction uh, what you start to do is you start to then have the <laughs> meetings you start to basically you know be making more of the high-level decisions and then the people you know who whose responsibility that is are then disseminating those decisions um, it is you know it doesn't really get easier but and I think this is probably the thing um, that changes I, I and hopefully you know that I'm dead against this thing of like oh you've got to be passionate about what you do no you don't uh, that's that's probably the most dangerous thing to have in biz in business if you're passionate about the product you sell you are absolutely blindsided right so you know if you think about it in terms of a relationship right like passion will like literally blind you to so many other things and other problems so what you should be passionate about in business is actually making it successful. That's the only thing you should really be passionate about. Because if you're passionate about, you know, and, and, I, and I see this, it's like, oh no, I'm fully passionate about delivering solutions to my customer. No, you're not. If you do that, you'd be registered as a charity and you'd be doing it for free. Because at the end of the day, you have to make a living. So as you're looking at your business, you're going, okay, well, yes, this is hard work. If you don't like that kind of hard work, you might be doing the wrong business. Okay, and that's it. I mean, I work, I don't know, because I I don't actually know how many hours a day I work. I mean, it's like, because, you know, I was, what is it? It's like, it's like half past two now. I think at midday, me and my wife went down to the coffee shop. We sat there in the coffee shop, I guess, for about an hour and a half, and then we came back and worked. So our schedule isn't nine to five. 
Um, but I would probably hazard a guess. I probably work 12 plus hours a day as a guess, but I don't view it as work. I love doing it. Part of my work is doing this. Another part of my work is dealing with um, uh, being involved with onboarding new clients. Um, another part of my work would be <laughs> sorting out fires and trying to figure out what's going wrong. Uh, and so what I do on a daily basis is varied, but I love doing it. I actually enjoy doing this. Uh, would I swap it for something else if I could? Probably. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, right now, I'm, you know, there are, there's another venture that I'm involved in and, um, you know, and I'm trying to build that up as well. But what that means is I'm more busier than I would be if I wasn't doing that. So I think the question of, you know, is it always this hard and does it always suck this bad? Uh, yeah, it kind of does. But the difference being is that if it goes wrong, uh, chances are you're gonna know about it before it happens. It's, I would still advise anybody to have this life over working for somebody. Because when you work for somebody, you never know what's gonna happen. You literally, I, my wife was actually telling me she was speaking to somebody just the other day and he is great at his job. He has been doing superb in sales and so forth. He's just lost a job because the company's just sold. That's it. Now, now he's, he's cast out, now he's gotta figure something out. When you've got your own business, you're in control of that. And, uh, and that control gives you a lot of satisfaction. So, you know, yes, it does suck. Uh, please, anybody that's thinking about doing businesses, don't kid yourself thinking it's gonna be an hour a day, right? Because it isn't. And I've never met a successful person who isn't selling you the course on it only taking an hour a day, of course, uh, that actually does this. You know, the irony is most people out there that claim that, uh, when you actually look at what they're doing, they're working all the time. Okay, so yeah, it is hard work, but is it really work if you enjoy doing it? And I guess that's it. So uh, I'm interested to know in the comments, do you consider what you do as work? Because I don't really consider it work myself. I actually just love doing it. Uh, the whole reason I mentor a lot of people is because I just like doing it. I don't get any money from that. You know, I just, I do it because I enjoy it. So uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I look forward to reading them.